ladies and gentlemen. Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. Look what we've got. This thing's bad. This is the ACSS Cyclops Gen 2 by the guys over there at Primary Arms. Let's take a look at it on the table top. The table up the top. But man, I tell you what. What amazing object. <laughs> if you're blind as a bat, like me. Here we go. Let's take a look at it. Stand by. All right, guys. KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here on the review table. And I just realized, man, I haven't done a review of anything on a tabletop in quite some time. So I decided to go ahead and kick things off with this guy right here. Now, this has been in my possession for quite some time because I wanted to go ahead and run it on a couple different rifles and have some fun with it and really test it out to give you guys my best opinion. Now, this is the Primary Arms. This is their new... SLX 1000 Micro Prism Scope. This is basically the Cyclops Gen 2. This guy is revolutionary. And I'll say that with all my might. When I first saw this thing out and started seeing photos of it, I just realized to myself, that guy right there is, is something that I want. Uh, the reason being, and we'll go into this, uh, is because of the adjustable diopter. It is a micro prism, prism scope, which means you can adjust it if your eyes are bad. Uh, if you're going to pick up the shit hits the fan rifle, are you going to wear your glasses while you're shooting? They're probably not. So I'm going to tell you something. This guy right here, that is why it's revolutionary. Also because of its size. Now, let's go ahead and get started on this thing. It is equipped with the Cyclops Gen 2 reticle, which is basically the horseshoe with the ranging brackets. Now, I'm not going to get so far into the, uh, the, the reticle on, on this video. We'll go ahead and do a video showing you how to work the reticle as far as the ranging bracket is concerned. Basically, the hash dash marks are equal to 18 inches across or somebody's shoulder to shoulder. Uh, and that if you can put that out there, then you can range estimate. Now, a, a one toss prism scope, in my mind, I'm, I'm good out to about 500 yards, especially with this guy now that you can see because it, not only does the target come in clear, but the reticle does as well. And that's important. All right, so what's cool about this guy? It's got about 30 different mounting options, uh, very unique mounting system, uh, offset, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, yeah, so you can actually do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different mounting options. In my mind, that's more than enough. Uh, as you remember, this is the old school uh, ACSS prism scope. This is one power, and look how big it is. It actually weighs in with the mount at 10 ounces. Now this guy right here, let's go ahead and open it up and we'll show you what's in the box. In the box, you get two little pamphlets here. One is going to be for the actual prism scope. The other one is going to be for the Cyclops Gen 2 reticle. Like I said, we'll go into that in detail in another video because what I'm going to do is show you how to we're going to mount it on a rifle, then we're going to take it out, and I'm going to take it out to three or four, five hundred yards. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You get some uh, blue Loctite in here, a little cleaning cloth, uh, a bunch of additional screws. Here are your mounts for the different cantilevers, things like that. Now, I kind of dig the, uh, what do you call it, absolute co-witness. Uh, or a lower one-third co-witness, depending on what's going on. I think the new trend is everybody likes to mount their shit about two inches high now. Uh, that's cool. I don't care. Uh, anyway, this is a little torque wrench that comes with. You can put this on your keychain, so if you ever need to move. And, and the cool thing is, is they are coming out with most of their optics now have this little torque stuff, especially the, uh, the, the, the prism scope stuff. All right, so let's open this thing up. My first impression when I first saw this thing is damn wow that's that's pretty cool okay and the reason it's pretty cool is because of its size it's neat it's streamlined it's ready to go i like this particular setup right here because you can put it on top of a set of backups if you got something that wants to flip up like a set of mag pull in bus sites it'll go up perfect co-witness and you're good to go but you don't even need to do that because this comes with an etched in reticle so if in the event that your CR2032 battery goes bad, you still have the ability to use your firearm with that radical system in there. The adjustments are 1MOA. Uh, I've heard some people, uh, they're not a big fan of that. Uh, I am, uh, especially on a 1MOA, uh, 1 times prism scope, because 
at 400 yards, you're talking about four inches. We're, we're not shooting out to, uh, you know, a thousand yards with this thing. So it's not that big of an issue with me. You're probably going to be more worried about windage than anything else, but the adjustments are no big deal. Very tactile adjustments. I like the fact that they left the adjustments exposed. I can't stand turret caps like this guy right here. And then they put this, the wording on here, big enough so you and I can both read, which is really, really nice. This guy, I have to take a picture of it and then zoom in with my, my uh, phone so I can figure out, okay, what damn direction do I need to go into? All right, so what do we got over here? This is the adjustment knob for your lit reticle. This thing is daylight bright, if not more. You will not have to worry about that if you're going into like a, a, a thing where you're having to do a shoot house or you're doing base shooting or whatever. Uh, you can put this thing on, use it as a red dot. Don't worry about uh, the ranging brackets or anything else because all you got to do is put that circle on there and bam, you're done. But you got 13 levels of brightness and then three levels of night vision. So if you wanted to put a set of NVGs in front of or behind it or whatever you want, a PVS 14s, you can do that. Uh, the adjustable diopter. This is what makes this optic absolutely amazing. My good friend Arturo sent me an e email yesterday on Facebook and uh, he's a guy I went to college with, very unique person. He and I are both in the firearms and he asked me about this. So I thought this would be quite a, quite a great opportunity for go ahead and pull this out and do the review on. I was hoping, just jumping around, that I would be able to use this American Defense mount on this guy, but the screw pattern is one, two, three. It is different. So uh, what makes it so revolutionary? Well, for guys like you, me, if you're getting up there in age, your eyes are not what they used to be. So this adjustable diopter, what that does is you can adjust this so it brings that reticle in to be perfectly clear. So when you are looking at the chevron right there, well, that chevron is going to be perfect and it's going to be perfectly clear, giving you a great uh, or a more be build back better, <laughs> better uh, view and more accuracy because without glasses uh, or corrective vision, like I'm going to be shooting this competition coming up in a couple of weeks, I've got to wear corrective vision when I'm shooting my pistol because I can't see the damn sights on the thing. And then I have to look over the glasses into my scope or I have to adjust the diopter so that I can use both. And we're going to be training to do that. This guy with this mount, particularly right here, comes in at seven, at least it did on the first video that I did, whoops, zero, 7.7 7 ounces, come on, work with me, or 7.8, 7.7. 7. 7. Uh, it is threaded up here uh, for a kill, flash kill, and then you've got a little bit of uh, anti-glare stuff right here, multi-coated lenses, uh, just nitrogen purged, it is bad to the bone. What do I have to say about it? I, I love it. I can't wait to get it out and really put it on one of the long rifles. I've taken it, put it on some pistol caliber carbines, and I've shot it once or twice on a 16 inch, and it, it worked to perfection. The idea that is that I like about this, even if it's a micro prism, you've got a two to seven inches worth of eye relief. That eye box is absolutely huge, and that's that's a very very important to me, especially with a fast acquisition. If you put the rifle and bring it up. You want that cheek weld, and you want to be able to see right through that thing. Uh, the, the the clarity of the glass is on par with anything I've been I've seen. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Very quick video on this guy right now. I got a link on my website, kb32tag.com. They are in stock right now for $249. Go to my website if you don't mind and press on the link. It'll take you right over to Primary Arms and you, sir, ladies, y'all can buy one, have it delivered probably this week. These guys are pretty fast. So with that being said, it's just a bad looking scope. I mean, it's just, it looks good. It looks very good. Go to Boy32. Like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. What do y'all think about a president who throws his own people under the bus? It's pretty sick. It's about time that uh, he, he gets out of there. With that being said, y'all be good. I'm out of here. Take care.